Welcome. So Isaac with uh, Easton is in uh, Pennsylvania at the Harrisburg Show, the Great American Outdoor Show. Biggest hunting expo there is in the U.S. He was trying to FaceTime us because he said uh, there was a hush fan back there. What? What's up, dude? You're on the vlog. Say what's up. You want to meet Casey? Hold on. We got this guy. He's in Pennsylvania, baby. What's up, bro? Take that off and get a hush where's your where's your hush hat dude oh, I gotta get one. I'm gonna tell you <laughs> <laughs> we well, appreciate it oh my gosh who's this isaac, isaac. Is he <laughs> yeah he's got a hush fan from pennsylvania no way hey guys hey what's up dude how's it going buddy what's up? I, I wish we could have made it to pa oh. this year but we can't make it we're out here in portland oh yeah i watch all your videos and they're really cool oh thank you appreciate it uh, sorry you had to meet Isaac. You're on the vlog, dude. Say, what, <laughs> say what's up to the vlog. What's up? What's your name? Where are you from? I'm from, uh, like, outside Georgetown, Pennsylvania. That's awesome, man. Well, hey, we appreciate your support. Yeah, man. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching the videos, man. She's Eric Times. That's right. How are yeah. you, buddy? What's up, dude? Yeah, that's what you cool. Let's get another picture, guys. Come on. Let's go, guys. I'm just glorifying the cameraman. That's free. What's your name? Madison. Madison. Madison's going to show us her buck. How far away was the shot? Ten yards. Ten oh, yards. Tell the story. Went to my grandma's house, went to shoot a buck, and he was just there. We're chilling. Ten Dang. yards and shot him. Yeah. Was that your first buck? Yep. Nice. Yeah. That's better than my first buck. Yeah. <laughs> nice meeting you. Nice meeting thanks you. Yeah, thanks for coming. Nice to meet you. Yeah. This is going to be my go to shirt every day. It will not get washed. It will be worn every day under whatever it is I have to wear. And I'm going to take the purpose of my clothes. That's awesome. I love Good luck with that bowl. This is definitely the biggest deer set that has come through the booth. Oh, absolutely. Let's see those. So this is a replica those are set. Replicas, yeah. Look at the burst. They're replicas, but look at that, dude. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That is like an elk on the bottom right there. It's a freaking base. He only goes 250. 250? Yeah, dude. Check that thing out. A celebrity now. He was a celebrity when I first. He is. Yeah. person I've ever had the chance to meet. Thank you. Like, I'm gonna be dead on it. Him and I have had some chit chats. Like, oh, dude, there was like I had messed up. Stud. Is that on? Hello. Uh, Saturday is complete. If you, any of you guys came out and visited our booth today, or Friday, or Thursday, or Wednesday, we just want to thank you so much. We've met an incredible amount of fantastic people. It's uh, surreal for me to be back home in Portland where I grew up, spent a lot of my life. And just to have a chance to meet people at these expos is, is very, very, it's a very humbling experience that people will actually show up in our booth, buy a product, say hello, express how they maybe enjoy watching the video. So uh, truly from the bottom of our hearts, all of us, we, uh, we appreciate the support. We got one more day here in Portland before we wrap up and head back north, but it's been a great time. And, uh, and we have Eric bamboo Boston pillows, two of them. Such a sucker. <laughs> Got to talk to a lot of great people, really nice people out here. And that's really the goal of us going to these expos, is giving, having a chance to meet you guys. And really just meeting face to face. What are you doing with that thing? <laughs> that was mine. A bit. That guy is that mine? a little cool. Is that mine? <laughs> yeah. I Yours are you were you were going good. Finish Anyways, it. guys, thanks for coming, man. Those who couldn't make it, hopefully you guys enjoy these uh, videos at the show. Wish you guys can be here so we can meet all of you, because we are so thankful to be able to do this kind of stuff. So, thanks. I get a little emotional thinking about all the support that you guys show us and coming in and saying hi and just telling us your stories of either how our videos inspired you to get into hunting or helped you out whatever way or you just enjoy. The entertainment purposes of it 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. This is a dream come true that we really never knew we had until we started doing it, and it's all because of you guys. At we want to thank, so, you, thank for you so much. We got a few more people coming to get in. <laughs> Just shut the door. <laughs> gift for me but he forgot it and I was like well what was it he said I noticed you have, don't have any rosy elk sheds in your collection and I pretty much begged him to go home and get it for me <laughs> but he brought it on this sweet frame pack and yeah he presented me a gift so I had him sign it right here that's rad that's a true rosy elk shed huh is this from Oregon or Washington from the Washington side is that the Washington elk shed I found it while he was out here hunting. Came down to the show to gift it to us. So. Super cool, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. You want to be awkward hug for the video. Yeah. <laughs> if you have any knowledge about a backpack frame like this, uh, let me know. He found it in an old garage. Yeah, garage, yeah. Her husband used it a long time ago. Could be a trapper. Or... Yeah, a trapper. I don't know. I forgot. Anyways, anybody have any information on this old backpack, let us know in the comments, but yeah, thanks man, appreciate it. James. James. Welcome to the vlog. Hi guys, this is James. He's going to be on the vlog. Check out these bad boys that just got scored here at the show. Northwest Big Game Inc. has a booth here. The last two years we've been here, and they measure deadheads and sheds, and uh, James just brought these in and had them scored, so without a spread. Uh, 135 and a half makes number nine in Oregon for Look at that sets. Wow. That's a true black tail. True black tail. Really beaded fronts. Micah, our driver, Super pretty. Found both sides, one on one side of the highway, right? Well, yeah, well, the main gravel road, 15 yards off the main road, off the road, and then seven days took me to find that side. 300 yards off the other side. The thing I'm noticing about all the sheds that have come by, whether they're black tail or rosy, the antler out here is dense. Like, they just weigh a lot. I don't know if it's the vegetation or what they eat, the minerals, but they're just heavy, heavy, solid antlers. I thought we'd share that with you guys on the blog. Any uh, black tail shed hunters, leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think. Guys, I started this thing out five days ago by putting these brand new crispy Ativas on like a trail runner shoe. And I was told you I was gonna wear them for the five days at the show. So typically I wear a pair of tennis shoes, Nikes, whatever, and by the end of this thing, my feet are, I feel like every bone in them is broken because we're standing on concrete all day. I am so blown away, my feet feel amazing. This is day number five, the end of day number five. It's like accumulation of 60 plus hours standing on concrete. Feet are great, feel better than ever felt after a show, so. I'm super excited. April 1st is when they will launch. If you guys want to get a pair, go to crispy.com. I highly recommend them. Bam. It's over, guys. Five days. PNW show. It's been awesome. Thank you. If any of you guys came down and uh, hung out with us, said hi, we appreciate it. We really do. We're headed to Salt Lake right now to go set up for the uh, Hunt Expo. You will be in Salt Lake City coming to the Hunt Expo. Make sure you jump online. We'll leave a link in the description box. Buy your tickets. Type in Hush. Save 10 bucks. That easy. It's that easy. We'll see you in Salt Lake. Thank you for watching today's video.